the whole entire world in the palm of his hands. Amen. And he's orchestrating everything all yeah. at the same time. That is just incredible to me how we serve a God that has control of everything in the entire universe. Amen. Not just our universe, but universes. Amen. And um, I will never stop serving him. Amen. So I, I honor the Lord as my Savior today. Amen. He is the head of my life. Amen. He, he is my strength, my joy, my peace. That is where I get all those things from, from him, not from, amen, within, amen, because there is an enemy inside of me that I battle with on a daily basis, amen, but the peace that I get, it comes from above, amen. Can anybody say amen, that their amen. peace comes amen. from the Lord Jesus Christ, amen. There's so much going on around us on a daily basis, our, our eyes, our ears, we see and hear so much, amen. It's a wonder why more aren't out of their minds, amen. But because we serve a God, because we know our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, is why we are still stable, amen. He established us, he settled us, amen. And I'm so thankful today, amen, hallelujah. So we worship you, Lord, hallelujah. We honor you in the name of Jesus. Deacon Mike is going to give us our prayer. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Let us humble our hearts in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Thank you very much. I appreciate the opportunity to be here today. And uh, the songs that First Lady gives us lifts our hearts. And the sermon that we hear from our minister it's going to be so uplifting today. Amen. <laughs> Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for the blessing of this day. We thank you for all the things you have given us. There's unrest and great turmoil in the world, but we know it's part of your plan, Lord, and we stand beside it all the way. We are your servants, Lord. Strengthen us and guide us to do thy will. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank God for the prayer. Amen. Ecclesiastes 3, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Starting at verse 1, and the word reads, to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Yeah. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to get and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to cast away, a time to rend and a time to sow, yeah. a time to keep silence and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time to war and a time of peace, what profit hath he that worketh in that wherein he laboreth? I have seen the travail which God hath given to the sons of men to be exercised in it. He hath made everything beautiful in everything. his time. Yeah. Also he hath set the world in their hearts so that no man can find out the work that God maketh from the beginning to the end. Amen. Praise God. Thank God for the reading of his word. Amen. I've read it like Ecclesiastes 1.
victory. I've got my joy. I've got my joy, man. Anybody can say you got your joy today. No matter what it looks like, I'm walking in victory. I've got my joy back. I'm walking in victory. Come on, just take a couple steps right where you are. Come on, take a step right where you are. Come on out your, come on out your view and just walk around. Celebrating. Y'all stay there. Hallelujah. My children back. Hallelujah. Somebody posted on Facebook that the devil you can't have my children. How many know that should be our war cry? That should be our victory cry. I plead. Hallelujah. Got my children back. Got my children back. Come on, we gotta say it. That's what faith is, the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. They're coming back home. They're coming back into your life. Hallelujah. We need the hedge of protection covering them. Hallelujah. I've been set free. He'll deliver me complete. Now I'm walking in me. I've been delivered.
look around and it's trouble in Iran and Iraq, it's war in Gaza and Israel. But how many know that God still loves you? How many know he loves you in spite of you? I don't know about y'all, but I've made some mistakes. But I thank God that he, he made a way to forgive me of my wrong. Yeah. He caused us to walk in victory today. Hallelujah. Yeah. know that we want to be in the courts of the Lord. In the presence of the Lord is fullness of joy. And your Bible says at his right hand pleasures forever. Yeah. 
Timothy, a third to arrive in. One day in his course, hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. The 
spirit of the Lord just said to me that no man knows the hour nor the day when the Son of Man shall come. How many know that he's coming on a day that's not in our calendar? Because it's a day that he ain't never made yet. Or, Lord have mercy. How many know he made Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But when he comes back, that's going to be a day that nobody's ever seen. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. great for you, somebody throw your hands up and say, I'm, I'm getting ready, I'm getting ready, I'm getting ready. And a terrible day for those that have not made their minds up. One more time, whether it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, That's a whole lot of acting going on. <laughs> or that's some, something real. Somebody said, that's real. That's, real. that's not a movie. That's, that's something that's real. It is apparent going on right now. And we must be mindful that we ought to change. If I had a, a, a moment to like change the message, it would have been, amen, it's time to change how you live. Because if you notice, people are still doing stuff like ain't nothing going on. Especially us over in the Western world. It's a tragedy one week. Guess what? They still going out partying the next day. Y'all seeing what I'm saying? Can you see it around our world today? Yes. Because it doesn't affect you then you saying you ain't got to pray or you ain't got to do nothing or send relief or, or do some, I mean, the times are evil. You got to be careful where you are. Be careful where you go. Be careful how you travel. Amen, somebody. Amen. They're going into all kinds of places shooting. And we just spoke about this last week. And how many know that it was a... I think it was a skating event on the weekend. The guy in Maine, did y'all see that? He shot about 10 people, 
10 to 18 people. And then they found him dead somewhere. But how many know this stuff is going to continue because we live in a fallen world. Mm. A evil, this is not our home. Yes. And, if, and if we don't know Jesus, because <laughs> all other religions, and I know, I know we got to get to the word today. All other religions point to themselves. But the only religion that pointed to God was who? Through Christ. You can have all these other names of God, even those that are going and doing crazy, barbarous stuff, and they're saying the name of their God that they're doing it in. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But how many know God is not that type of God? Amen. Not the God that we serve. Amen. 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 First Lady read it in our devotional. There is a time of war and there's a time of peace. And I believe that Israel has to do something. Whether they're going about it right or wrong. I mean, you no, know, you have to confront evil. Yes. You have to confront injustice. You have to confront it. But as we look here to the scripture, amen. And Father, as I pray now, Lord, we pray, oh God, that your word would go out. And don't let it go out void, but let it accomplish that what it please, your Bible says that it would. Lord, as we minister grace to the hearers and we pray for our country and our leaders and our cities and our states and our, our families and our friends and our communities, we know that lives will be lost. Look at the world, Lord, we're looking at it. Lives, casualties are by the millions. But Lord, if I can just make it, hallelujah. How I many know oh, you got to have that type of attitude now? Lord, millions didn't make it, but I was one of the ones who did. Lord, we thank you for this word that we are about to impart. Lord, let it be sown into somebody's life and be changed. Lord, I decrease, hide me behind the veil. The glory belongs to you. 13th chapter of the book of Numbers here. Moses, amen, the prophet, the lawgiver, amen, he sends out, amen, spies to go and look over the land that God promised. How many know God has promised us a whole lot of stuff? Yes. Amen. Somebody can say that, right? Amen. Yes. amen. And, I'm, and I want y'all to remind me of, of what the Lord showed me on this week. Amen. After the sermon, somebody say, I'm going to remind pastor. Somebody say, I'm going to remind pastor. Because the Lord may show you some stuff, but he may show you not all, but just a little bit. And how many know that little bit is enough to get you to the next level? Yes. yes. Amen. How many say, somebody say, just enough, just enough. Here, the 13th chapter, he sends out, amen, a uh, uh, an agent, a secret agent from the 12 tribes of Israel. And one from every tribe and the names, you know, you can look at them. Um, pay close attention to the eighth verse of the tribe of Ephraim, Oshea, the son of Nun. He picked him out. Somebody say Joshua. Joshua. So here now as we pick it up on the 17th verse. Amen. These two spies are going out to see what God has given them. And how many know sometimes on your journey is not easy? Anybody been on a journey in your life? Yes, it is not. You've been some ups and downs, some bumps in the road. Even, watch this, when you thought you had it figured out, here comes some potholes and some some stuff, calamity, traffic jam that you did not know would befall you. Yes. Oh yeah, it happens to all of us, not to the best of us, to all of us. 12 or 17 verses, and Moses sent them to spy out the land of Canaan and said unto them, get you up this way. Somebody say this way. This way. Southward and go up into the mountain. And this is a sentimental message for me today. But if anybody realized what a mountain is, how I many know it's hard going up yes. the mountain? Yes. What is Shirley Caesar? Thank you. Uh, it came to me. She said, 
Lord, don't give me the strength to what? To walk around it, but Lord, give me the strength to climb. And how many know climbing a mountain if you're not an expert is very challenging? Yes. Boy, I've had some mountains in my life. Mm -hmm. Lord, have mercy on me. Got mountains right now? Mm -hmm. Anybody got mountains in your life you're going through? Mm -hmm. Yes. You know some folk right now that's going through mountains. But God promised us that he would be with us. Amen? Amen. And I believe that. Somebody shout, I believe that. I believe Amen. That. Here it is. And see the land what it is. Now I'm going to exegete a lot of this, but see the land what it is. And the people that dwell therein, whether they be strong or weak, few or many. Why is this in the text? Y'all remember, amen, weeks ago we preached that God took them the long way, right? Yeah. Peradventure they would go the short route and see the enemy and then run and tuck their tails. How many know all things are working together for, somebody say, my good. My good. I know it don't feel like it, and I know it don't look like it, but how many know you ain't supposed to see what it looks like just walk what? By faith. faith. Amen. I'm walking by faith and not by right. Especially today. <laughs> Amen. Uh, how many know it's certain days? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Like she sung in the in the song. But some days you got to really what? Walk by faith. faith. Mm -hmm. Here it is. They're walking. Spying out the land. It says, check them out. Check the people out. It's something in the text going to trip you all out in a moment. Amen. Check them out. See if they be strong. Because if they're strong, guess what? You got to use strategy on them. But see if they be weak. If they're weak, you can easily overpower them and overtake them. Mm -hmm. Then the next verse says, see the land. What it is. And the people that dwell there. And whether they be strong or weak, few or many. And what the land is. That they dwell in, whether it be good or bad. Somebody, somebody say, God promised us the land. I don't know about y'all, but there have been some promises that have been running away from me. Mm -hmm. They've been fleeing from me presently. But how many know that the blessings of the, of the Lord make it rich and add of no sorrow? So strategically, it's some things you have to do in order to go get your promise. Amen. I'm talking good early, y'all. Because guess what? Your promise is not just for you, but it's for anybody walking in victory. But somebody say victory got my name on it. Hallelujah. <laughs> Ooh, boy, we're about to get there in a moment. It says, whether it be bad or good, and what the cities they be that dwell there, whether in tents or in stronghold. <laughs> Sometimes you got to travel by tent. Sometimes you got to travel. Amen by strongholds. Mm. Mm. Somebody say bunker down, bunker down, bunker down. Bunker down. Because not only will this next season be a test, but God going to cover you. Somebody say God going to cover you. Hallelujah. Here it is. This is where the evangelism comes in. And what the land is, whether it be fat or lean. Whether there be wood therein or not. Somebody say provision. provision. Be ye of good courage. Tell your neighbor, be of good courage. Be of good courage. And bring of the fruit of the land. Now the time was the time of the first ripe grapes. Somebody say evangelism. evangelism. 
First lady, she did not know my text. I don't know why she keeps spying into my word. But she talked about season. Ecclesiastes is very, very good. Solomon put it so plainly that there is a time for everything. Guess what, y'all? It's, it's time to move. <laughs> yeah. Even when God gives you sight on where you're going, if he is the builder, how many know he got the right to change the blueprint anytime he wants? Yes. Yes. He's the contractor. Yes. He's the one that put it together. It still amazes me how, how houses are built and buildings and all and bridges that go. It's still amazing to me. How many know if we're the workers, all we got to do is follow what instruction? Yes. Somebody say follow instruction. follow instruction. You're not going to quit, Mr. Mason. Are you? Because that's your job. The Lord said as long as I'm the builder and you are the worker, you still going to get paid. Oh, yes. <laughs> how, many know, how many know that the blessings of the Lord are yours? Yeah. He's a reward of them what? That diligently seek him. Seek him. Yeah. Here it is. Watch this. So they went up, searched the land from the wilderness of Zin unto Ruhol as men come to Hamath. And they ascended by the south came unto Hebron where Ahim and Sheshai and Talmai and the children of Anak were. Now Hebron was built seven years before zoned in Egypt. If anybody has been watching the news, they're talking about Hebron now. Hebron is that area where all that stuff is going on now. How many know ever since Abraham and Sarah Sarah, you know, told Hagar to go and, and Abraham, he obliged. And so the children, one was what going to be a, 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 a mean child and a fighting child. How many know they've been fighting ever since? Yes. They're still fighting to this day over territory, over, over money, possessions, and, and, and riches, and oil, all those things. And even, guess what, when the church is raptured up, they still going to be fighting. But I'm so glad that God has a plan for my life. Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. And they came up unto the brook of Eshkol and cut down from thence a branch. Somebody say a branch. A branch. Somebody say abiding branch. Abiding branch. <laughs> Ooh, with one cluster of grapes and they bear it between two upon a staff. And they brought of the pomegranates and of the figs. The place was called the brook Eshar because of the cluster of grapes where the children of Israel cut down from thence. And they returned from searching of the land after 40 days. Now I was curious, y'all. I was curious of how in the world did these grapes still exist? Well, yeah, but remember, how did these grapes get to be so big? Had to be somebody that was big that sold them and took care of them and nurtured them. Yes. Here now, we know that this is many, many years after the flood. Are y'all with me? When God destroyed the flood because of what? The evil of mankind. How many know all mankind was destroyed? Except those that were what? In the ark. There were no giants or descendants in the ark. If you're with me, just say I'm with you, Pastor. Let's keep reading. I think it's going to get better in a moment. What verse D? 26 verse says, and they went and came to Moses and to Aaron and to all the generation of the children of Israel unto the wilderness of Paran to Kadesh and brought back word unto them and unto all the congregation and showed them the fruit of the land. And they told him 
and said, We came unto the land whether thou wentest or sent us, and surely it flowed with what? Milk and honey. Milk and honey, and this is the byproduct of it. This is the fruit of it. This is what we brought back. What happens when you go searching for stuff, but you come back empty-handed? Have you ever been in a place where God sent you to a place, amen, that was flowing, but sooner or later it turned into a desert place? Mm, nobody else has that testimony in the room, amen, that there have been some desert places before in my dry, dry season. God promised never to leave us. So we got to find a way in the season to navigate through dry season. Yes. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. David said it best. I've never seen what the righteous forsaken, forsaken nor his seed. Somebody throw your hand up. His seed was begging for bread. So guess what? You ain't got to beg for nothing. Hallelujah. Somebody say, I'm not going to beg for anything. Mm -hmm. What verse, D? 28. 28 verse says, hallelujah. Nevertheless, the people be strong that dwell in the land. This is the report, y'all. And the cities are walled, they're high, and they're very great. And moreover, we saw the children of Anna there. Mm -hmm. So if you do the research, Anna was a distant relative to Goliath and the Nephilim. Now this ain't Bible study, but you remember, we're going to get to, we won't get to it today, but you you fast forward to the Bible, David killed what? Goliath. So how if all the giants were killed in the flood, how in the world is David, amen, through many centuries still fighting a, a giant? How I many know as long as evil exists, they're going to be giants? Yeah. Oh, you missed it, y'all. Yeah. They're going to be giants in your life that we're going to have to kill. Yes, yeah. let me pull a, a giant, a giant of immorality. Look at your world today. Call it what? Wrong, right. Uh, let me, I, I, I seen a video, I think it was yesterday. And a, and a parent came to pick up his child. Lord have mercy. Guess what the children had on? Dresses. And it was boys and girls in there. Daddy came in the room. He knew he was videotaping. So he didn't act out of character. He, he came in there. Deacon Mike, he said, take that off my child. And the two teachers, you know, they, they kindly obeyed. He's like, don't you ever put a dress on my child. How many know they're indoctrinating whatever doctrine they want in the schools, Amen. in the daycares? Hello, y'all on the job. He said, don't you ever put a dress. And guess what? The child didn't know no better. Right. All kinds of giants. So here now it comes to mind how, where did these giants still come from? Because evil what? Still exists. Yeah. So how many know habitually, habit wise, amen, evil has a tendency to continue to do what it used to do. Guess what happened, y'all? There was still commingling with demonic angels with women. Yeah, because God, let me, let, me, let, me, let me pull it up. Somebody, somebody get there quick. Genesis 6 and 5. Somebody go there quick for me. 6 and 5. God always has a plan B. <laughs> Amen. Did y'all hear what I said? God always has a plan B. And his plan B is be holy. <laughs> his plan B is if God be for you. His plan B is every good and perfect gift comes down from the Father of lights for an M. There is no variable or shadow of turning. Ready, read. And it was, wait, which one you said? Six and Genesis 6 and 5. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, 
and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. Every imagination of man would what? Continually be evil. So God wiped out everybody except Noah's family. But guess what? Evil still what? Pops his ugly head, ugly head up. Through culture. Y'all hear me? Mm -hmm. Through generations. There are always going to be giants that you got to kill. So you can't let giants just hang around, y'all. Boy, I feel like shouting, but I got to get through this. We have let giants hang around too long. Yes, amen. We have let giants walk down the street. Come on now, y'all got to go with me spiritually. Giants of doctrine. Giants of ideology. I feel like I'm this. How many know they become giants? Mm-hmm. Mm and, 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 and here's what the rest of the text says. Hallelujah, where we at, D? 29. 29. This is about giants. The Amalekites dwell in the land of the south. And then the Hittites and the Jebusites and the Amorites dwell in the mountains. And the Canaanites dwell by the sea and by the coast of Jordan. Here is the most important part of this scripture. Amen. And we're almost done. Almost ready for worship. 30 says, and Caleb still the people. Another version says, Caleb quieted the people. Other versions say, he got them together and he made them listen. How many know there is time for teaching others how to stay out of trouble? How do you stay out of trouble? By getting to know Jesus. Look at this thing that just happened in Tampa, in Ybor City. Who's, who's making a clarion call to say, come out from among, among them and be separate? Who's doing these things? We just saw a video of a parent at a funeral in the church, and she cursing up a storm because her son has been killed. Is she out of order because she in the building cursing? Or is she using her anguish in the moment to just tell everybody how she feels? Worship, worship. How many know it's time for us now, the body of Christ, as we move, amen, they sent spies out to spy the land. Caleb says a powerful thing in this scripture. We're going to get to it shortly. But what are you willing to do? Say this to our ministry, to those that might be listening. How many know time is short, y'all? Uh -huh. we, we don't have long. One, we don't have long to live. Two, there, how many know sin is, is, is rampant all over the place? You got to make your calling and election sure now. Yes. You got to be sold out for Christ. Amen. What if somebody came to you and said, do you love Jesus with a gun to your head? What would you do? Are you re re willing to die? Are you ready to die? I know we don't ask ourselves those questions, but how many know there are home invasions left and right? Yes. Children are shooting other kids with guns that have been left unattended. There's so much evil in the land. And God knew that evil would continue, even after he destroyed it all. Evil will find a way to rule its ugly head. Caleb stilled the people before Moses and said, let us go up at once and possess it, for we are well able to overcome it. And I say this to ABWT. We are what? Well able to overcome it. Whatever it is. You can't look at obstacles like they're too what? Too big or too, the walls are too high. Or this is impossible. My mother, she always say to me, you know, in past years that you, you got incredible faith and crazy faith. 
The only faith I have, what, is in him. Right. It's in him that we live and we move and we breathe. We have, when one door closed, how I many know it's, it's thousands door opens everywhere. You can't get hung up on one blessing. Amen. Oh, you missed it. <laughs> so many people trying to what? Count their blessings, but I tell you, you ought to make your blessings count. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. Oh, I got this and I got this. No, stop it. But make every blessing count. Hallelujah. We don't own the rights to this music, but thank God for your family. Thank God for your children. Thank God even for your vehicles that you drive. Thank him for your life, health, and your strength. How many know no matter what happens, the devil will never see that I'm defeated? Never. Wanna know why? Because we're gonna encourage each other. Amen. Hello, we're gonna encourage one another. We're gonna stick together. Paul said, as long as I make it on what? Broken pieces, hallelujah. The shit broke up. But no lives were lost. Everybody standing. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we know that we are well able to overcome this. Wherever you send us, Lord, we'll go to minister to the poor, to the widow, to the orphans. Because truly, that's what you've called us to do. No matter the walls, how high, no matter how long the test is, no matter how wide the trial gets, Lord, whether it's quicksand or sinking sand, Lord, you're there. Lord, as long as we abide in you and our word would abide in that word abide in us, you said we can ask for whatever we will. So, Lord, as you continue to give us vision and clarity, Lord, we trust you. We don't put our trust in horses and chariots. But we trust you. Because how many know God has never lost a battle? The doctor, amen, has never lost a case. Never lost a patient that wasn't supposed to go to glory. Lord our God, as we pray out of this place. Thank you, O oh God. Somebody shout, thank you, Lord. For the years that you have kept us. Thank you. For the many praise songs that were saved. Thank you for the sermons that were written. Thank you for the souls that were encouraged and saved. Thank you for the lives that matured while they were here. Thank you, amen, for all the food and fellowship we had. Thank you even for the lives that have gone on to be with you. Thank you for our supporters and our friends. Lord, we know that no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper. Every lying tongue shall be cast down. Lord, as we look to the hills from which cometh our help, our help comes from you, hallelujah, the maker of heaven and earth. Lord, you have been good to us, hallelujah. Lord, you've been good to us, hallelujah. Lord, you've been good to us, hallelujah. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace, hallelujah. Thank you for your favor. Hallelujah. Thank you for bodies being healed. Hallelujah. Those that were on ICU. Lord, you healed their bodies. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. They're in this house today to testify that, Lord, you brought them from a mighty long way. And, Lord, we know that this is not the end, but a new beginning. Lord, we thank you for this in the precious name. Oh, precious moments, how they linger. But Lord, as we leave this place and never your presence, go with us. Somebody say, go with us. Lord, lead us. Hallelujah. And Lord, be there when we arrive. Oh, oh, and minister to us along the way. Come here, you two disciples. Where are you going? Hallelujah. They were discomforted. They were discouraged. Do you not know? Have you not heard the word? That Jesus the Messiah. He has been crucified. And it's the third day. And he is yet to be resurrected. 
They sat and ate, hallelujah. And then, hallelujah, when supper was, he revealed who he was. How many know he's a very present help? Yes, he is. In the time of your trouble. Lord, we are your people. We shall praise you, hallelujah, with the pillar of cloud by day. And we'll praise you with the pillar of fire by night. Lord, this is our praise unto you. In closing, what shall we render? What shall we give? For all of the many benefits that you've given. Lord, we give you praise. Yes. If you love them like I know you do, come on, praise him. Hallelujah. Come on, give him one high praise. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your glory, God. Lord, we give you praise and glory. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah.